Hi guys, Daz here, my great phone, and I've got an app review for you today. And as I said, I'll be back with a, a space based app, and this is Solar System Explorer. Um, there's a light version as well, this costs £1.28. And it's basically a really nice solar system encyclopedia. And so you'll see that it starts off on the air. This is the play, page that it launches into. And we've got this info display here. And from here, if we click that button there, um, which looks like a sort of upside down Mercedes symbol, it shows the structure of the air and gives a nice bit of information. And it's all multi touch friendly. You can zoom in and out, it's all that. Click charts, gives you again a nice view with um, some more information. So should you wish to know day length, amount of gravity, that kind of thing. Uh, atmospheric uh, composition, that kind of thing, it's all there. Now at the bottom, you can see there's a little picture of the Earth, this highlighted, and there's a picture next to it, and that's the Moon. Um, so you click the Moon, and it shows us our Moon, which is known as Luma. And again, we can do the same thing. We can get the composition, it tells you what it's made of. So we can just view it, and we can get that, those statistics. Um, now we click that back button and you'll see now we've got the entire solar system and this is where it gets really really cool so uh, we can go all the way to Sol which is our sun we can find cool stuff about Sol so remember we can keep zooming out and we can see it in relation to the rest of the solar system uh, go into Mercury so, you, and so when you go into a um, particular terrestrial body you get all the information about it um, so as I click through Again, the Earth has moons. Now, because I've clicked Uranus, you'll see um, that the solar system disappears at the bottom and it's replaced by an, uh, an, some other what well, look like planets, but they're actually the moons of the planet. So you can go through and you can find out again detailed information, size, composition. It's really, it's really all here. It's, it's brilliant. Um, now, uh, Pluto is on this one. Obviously, Pluto is not really a um, planet. Um, it also mentions that here that it's sort of been declassified, but there it is. And it gives you all the information, but it's still interesting to know. And also the moons of Pluto. So yeah, as you can see, it's just a really cool app, um, especially if you're into the solar system. If you could press I, this is quite cool. So let me just come right out. It's got the entire solar system, supposedly for a day and time. Now we click uh, I. You'll see at the top it's showing you where the planets are in alignment for. A particular time and you can actually go in here and you can set it so we can set it for today oh, I'll just click today I should have just done that and that's exactly as it is and you see it's, it all that is the exact alignment right now and that's quite fantastic just to be able to do it any particular time now as well as the solar system planets and moons and things like that and you've got this little button here uh, and that is uh, a little satellite that's because that's what it is and it's all of the key large satellites that are in the sky right now um, they just come out click on I sorry and here we go back in we go so we're going to look at the Pioneer 1011 all the information again and other key specifics about that particular Satellite. So you can see very very cool stuff in settings. Not a lot really in there. You can adjust the audio, um, and you can adjust the general, which allows you to turn on and off. So I think tablet mode is a little bit more um, friendly for the tablet device. I use that on my Nexus. It's pretty cool. So yeah, yeah Solar System Explorer 3D. Um, there's a light version which isn't quite as feature packed. I advise getting the the one pound twenty eight version. Play Store now because it's you can see it's got absolutely everything. Very cool app. Enjoy.